Okay, it's Friday, October the 13th. Friday the 13th. And we are watching a specifically spooky movie called Clown House. And it's only spooky if you read the IMDb trivia section of the movie. That's all we'll say. Holy fuck. Anyway, how you doing, Queef? I'm doing good. Commercial good. pictures. This is going to be a long commercial if it's 80 minutes long. Fuck. <laughs> commercial pictures. Jeez. Oh, I like, I like these like little titter squares I'm seeing on my monitor. Commercial Pictures presents The Clown House. Now, it's going to be really hard to not talk about uh, Pizza Gate related issues because of, yes, no, the no, director, no, Victor Salva. Um, he's the guy who made Powder and uh, Powder uh, Jeepers Creepers 1 and 2. Wow. That's a really good Halloween decoration. Right out the gate. It's like how my next door neighbors used to decorate their house, which is like dead bodies and shit. They, t- they took sick. Christmas and Halloween decorations very seriously. Dude, Sam Rockwell. This. First movie ever. Get what? Nothing. Well, Casey. I'm still, I'm, still, she's, I'm still getting spammed phone calls. <laughs> oh, your drunken uh, friend is calling my blackout, you? My blackout drunk friend has called me a rapid Hide fire. your fun. <laughs> Tree as Cheezo. Is Tree a dog name? I love Cheezo. That'd be a cool dog name. Hey, Tree, come here. Come here, Tree. No, Chorizo is a dog's name. is a good dog name, too. I named a the other dog I just found, Chalupa. Remember Chalupa, the pit bull? That's a good, yeah, for a girl, Chalupa. Chalupa, Papu- Chalupa Papusa is her name. Oh, her full name is Chalupa Papusa Salinas Rodriguez Martinez Gonzalez is her full name. You know, Selena, that's a good dog name, Selena. I like human names for my dogs. Yeah. Even if they're rare human names, that's cool, too, but it's just like, yeah. Selena. You never see a dog named Selena. Mortarati. Mortarati. I should probably turn off the goddamn fucking floodlight outside. It's really hard to sleep. <laughs> fucking shining on me like that. Yeah, like these blinds. Like. Make the moon go away. Like, he could <laughs> totally close his blinds. Dad, come to bed. We don't care about your job. I get it. You had a bad day at work. Written and directed. Now, uh, we'll see what kind of weird perversions are underlying in this film. Written and directed by such an unsavory character. I like how there's like a do not disturb sign on your... Could you imagine doing that to your kids? Like, putting a do oh, not disturb? I used, I used to have that uh, when I used to live with my roommates. I, Don't I you dare whole... come in here with a nightmare. No, I'm fucking your wife. Uh, or I'm fucking my mo- your mother. The, I, I lived on the top floor, and I had a cone with a fucking unicorn sticking out of it. So it said, the uh, circus. do not dare come up the stair, for I am not in my underwear. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> the circus is in town. He's pissing himself. Yum. All over the carpet, too? Oh, thank God. It's a dream. My little lamp. I love it. It's so powerful. It illuminates the whole room. Did he really pee himself? No. He seems dry as a bone, thankfully. Oh, nope. He did. Oh, no. He, he, he did. But, dude, dude, like, the bed is soaking wet. You know what I mean? Like, you can't piss the bed. I've never pissed the bed. Fully. I've never pissed the bed. I've never like, I that. definitely, if I did, it was like I was a little kid. I don't remember it. But I know I've, like, almost pissed the bed where, like, I've drunkenly, like, oh, I ping. And it's like just a little dribble comes out. That's happened to maybe once. But for the most part, like, I'm very good at, like, waking up. Well, for one thing. I'd like to walk out of my bedroom without a serious concussion every day. Is she going to smell it? I don't kill Don't what smell it. The Outsiders? What a random movie poster to have. Also, this kid rocking around his underwear. Oh, no. The trivia section of IMDb strikes again. <laughs> That's what we'll say. We'll just talk about that. Jeez. Dude. No. 
Why would you have the kid in the little tidy whities Yeah, I don't like, I don't like, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> There's Sam Rockwell, Academy Award winner. Oh, it's a bear oh ass! Oh my god! What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, I guess this so. I mean, okay, look, it is relevant to the plot because they noticed that he pissed his pants hey, because he was sleeping naked. Right. He, if he's not sleeping in his trousers, that means he got naked because he peed himself. So I'll allow that, but I won't allow that! What is that? The camera uh, angle? Goddamn did, IMDb trivia section? Did, um, <laughs> Like fucking mind blown already, dude. I don't know, man. Look, it's bad enough. Look, here's the thing. I heard about the scandal involving this director. He was involved with Jeffrey Jones, the guy, the principal from Ferris Bueller. They were caught with uh, photographs, if you will. Well, one of the the photographs are with one of these actors. But what's even more fucked up is it turns out that that guy was already in trouble years ago before this movie came out because of one of the other actors. And this movie was, like, taken from shelves, you know? It was never really released because of the controversy. So that's why this movie's, like, public domain. That's why this movie's, like, kind of like a, a cult classic sleeper, sleeper hit <clears throat> because nobody really got to see it when it came out. Very Weird. interesting. But what's funny is, like, Randy. is Hollywood condone this stuff or not? You know, like, I thought Hollywood was cool with all this Pizzagate shit. I guess he was just I sloppy. Know. I guess the director was just sloppy. You're real. <laughs> yeah, you know what the problem is, Mom? You're not like Mr. Selva. He's a great guy. So it's three brothers and mother. Where's father? Years old, you'd be bored stiff. She doesn't like us anyway. She doesn't? She said boys were made from the chopping block. Boys. Bum 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 boys. Are you sure? Yep, a lot of uh closeted uh themes coming out of the writing here. I don't know. A lot of uh suggestive Pretty messed up. So School far. buses and children. I can't wait and... for the I can't wait for the fucked up shit to happen. It's but, not related to that other stuff. I'm pretty so, sure <laughs> with the title and that crazy poster, it's gonna be involving a killer clown, which is very you know That's a lot better than that's this other freaky yeah. shit that I we Yeah, but I mean fucking them. Gacy and who else? Like I mean clowns, uh hell clowns are awful. Yeah, clowns are pretty messed up. Hold oh, your hand. Maybe not all of it. Lighten up. Maybe not the lions, huh, Keith? Or the elephants. Shut up. Or the fat lady. Oh, the not the fat man. lady. Shut up. Uh, Chase. Is he gonna kick into a musical uh, right now? Those clowns. I thought this was gonna <laughs> kick into a song. What about those clowns, those clowns, those clowns? Some well, he's gonna start snapping. So why are you going, Casey? You know you're scared. You can't you're home. scared of clowns, Casey. Why are you going? I'm not a scared, so shut up. I'm not a scared. Oh, cops are coming for me. Why are they running? Is there a bunch of delinquents? Where the crazy people live. Oh, so they live right next to a mental asylum? Hell yeah. So, I already know what's going to happen. You're going to have a bunch of loonies break out, dressed as clowns, terrorizing the neighborhood, right? There's a circus the, in town. What, what, Look, listen, they, listen, listen, they've listen, a, listen. <laughs> Woo! Crazy. So they've already established that there's a circus nearby, and there's a mental asylum also nearby. So you're gonna have both worlds collide. Oh, black cat! Nice touch. If that was uh, not planned or not, either way. 
Meanwhile, at the carnival, or, or later, at the carnival. God, it sure is dark for before 7 p.m. It's like, where are they? In fucking Alaska? It is messed up. The bearded lady was fake. That's like the easiest freak to like have genuine, you know? Jolly Ollie. You know, I think the reason why I don't like going to circuses is because of the goddamn organ music nonstop. I gotta say though, State Fair Lemonade, the lemonade they make at circuses, the lemonade they make at Chick-fil-A, it's the kind of lemonade that ruins other lemonade for you, because it takes three days to make, but it's so much better. You're like, holy fuck. You take the lemon, you peel the lemons and you, instead of like putting a bunch of lemon juice and water and sugar, you take the two cups of sugar or whatever you're going to use, the amount, you know, but before you put the sugar in the water, you take the lemon peels and you put the, you soak them in the sugar for like two days and it extracts all the oils out of the lemon peels. Then you take that sugary lemon peel substance and you put that in boiling water and turn it off. And then you strain it, and you have, like, pure lemon essence in that water. But then you have to let it cool down. So it takes another several hours to cool down. Then you add sugar and a little bit of uh, lemon juice, two lemons worth of lemon juice. And like I said, it's like the best lemon. It's like has that lemony, like, smell. Like, right when you put it up to your, it's like floral almost, like super intense lemon. Oh, man, that sounds awesome. Yeah, State Fair Lemonade. Check it out. And like I said, it's so good because when you make it, you're like, fuck. I can't just, like, make lemonade in 15 minutes anymore. Now making lemonade has to be this ordeal. If you want to make really good, quick lemonade that's amazing, try checking out um, Swiss lemonade. It's Brazilian, and it's made with limes. And you take limes and ice and uh, sweetened condensed milk, and you blend it up, and it comes out, and it looks like heavy cream. It's awesome. It tastes like a lime popsicle. That sounds amazing. What the fuck am I looking at? It's the bearded lady without her beard. She's also doubles as the gypsy woman. Huh. Where's she got a dead possum? This looks like one of our aunts, our long lost aunts. <laughs> Give me your hand. Oh. Whoa. The milky eye. Line of wisdom. It is long and curving. That's what, that's what I was <laughs> <laughs> Try to keep the perv jokes to a minimum, but Christ. <laughs> Despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. <laughs> See? They're doing it too. They're, yeah. they're hearing penis euphemisms in her fucking fortune telling also. Yeah. It's, it's not just us. Oh boy, she's got to bust out the magnifying glass for it. That's never a good it's sign. Not even, it's not even a magnifying glass. It's just like a, like a silver dollar. <laughs> oh. Severed the band. I love them. They rock. Oh, I love. You know, if I was a fortune teller, I would tell every ten-year-old boy, "You're going to die soon." You know, <laughs> that'd be so funny. Read their future and be like, "Ah, oh, your lifeline is severed. Something very soon will kill you." That'll be twenty dollars. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> if you give me another $20, I'll tell you how you'll die and make up some bullshit. Go on, get out of here. You know, lady, you got a real problem. Spits in his hand. <laughs> Starts sucking his fingers. Like, what the fuck, lady? Gross. 
I like how there's like a dead ferret hanging from the ceiling. The mall security comes in, be like, Rosinda, we have a real problem with the, the decorations at the State Fire Fair you're doing, you know? The dead animals it smells. People at the carnival are complaining. Rosalinda, whatever her name was. Huh? Every time, man. Every time. I get blamed, and you little goody two shoes walks them in there and scares them with any fucking clown. Yes, is when you give a shit about him. I'm tired of crap. I am not sure pig. Well, it's not fair, Sam. You're the one who didn't get diddled by the director. All right, listen, you're going to sit in there. You're going to watch the show. And you're going to enjoy the show. And I'm going to... I don't gonna, even know. I've got two little brothers. I'm going to finger bang Melissa, okay? Over the clothes, but still, it counts. All right, walk behind me. <laughs> you guys better not spy on me macking with Melissa, you perverts. Oh, better not drop this on the flaming bales of hay. Oh, we could all die in seconds in our flammable tent. Hey, it's Melissa. <laughs> I sure do like Melissa hanging out with my brother. <laughs> She's so nice to him. Melissa's mother. <laughs> Awkward. Or is that is that his ex-girlfriend? Uh. Torchetto! Torchetto would be an awesome, like, board game. <laughs> the Capino Brothers! All these Italian stereotypes. Oh, boy. Spooky clowns. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> what the fuck? Genuinely creepy. Genuinely freaking me out. <laughs> This movie. Josh was like, hey, I want to watch this. Or was it? Yeah, it was Kyle. Kyle was like, hey, I want to watch this movie. Oh, wait, never mind. I read about it. Uh, we'll watch something else. I was like, oh, well, now I have to watch it. Sorry. Hehehehe. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Rip Torn as a clown. Queef, what the hell? When did you first get freaked out by clowns? Um, when I saw it when I was three years old, my mom bought a life size clown doll and put it in my room. I remember Problem Child when he sees his room and it's all clowns. He's like, Clowns! I hate clowns! That's so good. Yeah, my mom got me. I think for me it was killer clowns from outer space. Those fuckers were freaky looking. And they killed you and turned you into cotton candy and popcorn and shit. <laughs> Bippo, Dippo, and Cheezo. Oh, wait. Cheezo. So wait, what was the what was that? We thought that was a dog's name. Cheezo's one of the clowns. He's played by a famous clown. What was his clown name? I was joking about how that was a funny name. Blank played by Cheezo. What? No! 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 Like, how many times have you seen a kid do that shit? Not me! Blow a whistle right in your face. Yeah, this is freaky enough. Even if there's nothing like, you know, insidious going on, nothing nefarious going on, it's still super creepy. Like, no, I don't want to get up and hold hands with you and embarrass myself in front of the town on the circus stage with you, Mr. Weird Clown. This, this is like a movie about the fears of stage fright. 
You assault that poor clown. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not the first child to strike him in terror. More like the 15th. Look, I don't have any brothers, okay? I'm here. Are you snoring? No, am I? What was that? Mm, maybe I did. Dude, do not be falling asleep right now. Please, sit up. I'm up. I'm sitting up. You literally went <laughs> like that. Like, was that serious? That might, that might have been... I did lead back. I leaned back to watch. Maybe that's the problem. No. Please try not to breathe like a walrus. I'm gonna walrus you in the butthole when you're watching this, dude. This kid, I don't know. Maybe it was the era, but these haircuts. I don't know. It reminds me of like a sports clips freaking thing from the '90s. Yeah, super cuts. Super cuts. Like he's got little tears. He's Those are sad. gel tears. That's his fifth take, at least. It's like you're set. They like had to melt hot candle wax on his face to get the illusion of tears. Ah! Yeah, seriously, that's, 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 <laughs> They're like not moving, you know. It's like <laughs> twisted. That's twisted, dude. They go like, all right, just hold still. Yeah, <laughs> just drooping on his face. <laughs> oh, if you could learn to cry on command, then maybe we wouldn't have to do this. But, you know, he is actually like a little bitch for just having a clown, like, try to, like, touch his hand. But, I mean, maybe it's appropriate. I don't know. I mean, it was a clown. He tried to touch him, so. Clowns are the worst. It's like clowns and bagpipes. What else? What else is the worst? You're pretty good at pitching baseballs, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Bagpipes are pretty bad. A fucking clown playing the bagpipes. There you go. A Scottish clown playing the bagpipes. Fuck, that is a nightmare and a half. And a half. <laughs> okay, here's oh, your escaped yeah. escaped loony person. So those clowns we assaulted were the real clowns from the from the uh, movie, from the circus. Those clowns were not killers. But like I said, like I accurately predicted, someone's gonna escape the mental asylum and probably disguise himself as a clown and start killing people. Why wouldn't they? Never think straight. Thanks. <laughs> Can't wait to hear that all the time. <laughs> Messed up. Like, what are y'all giving children? These are like the funniest gifts to give kids. Like. Gifts that just make non-stop annoying racket. <laughs> Enjoy, parents. Ew. Stop twisting that phallus. This is the part of the balloon balls. Here's a big balloon shaft. <laughs> I know how to make that. <laughs> yeah, I can make a balloon cock and balls. I'm pretty sure I can do that. Uh, I can make that one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can figure it out in a couple tries. Five yeah. tries tops. <laughs> what the hell is that? Yeah, God. He just laughs nonstop like that. <laughs> Shut up. You got no right to say anything. I kind of want one. Yeah, actually, let me have it. I want it. Punches him. It's mine now. Shut up, haven't you ever been scared before? Yeah, scared how bad I'm gonna bash you talking like that. <laughs> Just move. Typical older brothers. I know because I'm the older brother. <laughs> scared about how bad I'm gonna bash you. Just kidding, Aldo. Get on one of these, buddy. Yeah. You know, it's his birthday the other day. Oh, no shit. Yeah, the 19th. Oh. I didn't have that on my phone. Coco sounds like okay. she caught the old man cheating again. Coco. Bastard could have broken my rib cage. Swell. You would have oh, these are the actual clowns. Yeah. Professional like clowns. Yeah. Also, dude, that'd be like a cool movie to make. Just like a movie about literally like a guy who's a clown at a circus. How crazy he probably is. Now it's all Murray. And how much acid he takes on the side? No, it's about an acid clown. Someone's raping the elephant again. <laughs> Out there. How do you turn out the power when everything's lit by candles? 
It's all lanterns. They got a generator? Is everything hooked up? The lantern generator. I do like candles, though. It's such a spooky, fun vibe. I like candles. It's like we're camping with it's three deranged... It's like we're camping with three deranged drunk clowns. Kids, probably. Want to catch the clowns with their Kids love to torment the monkeys and the elephants well, at the they circus. They want to catch the clowns with their pants down. Sure yeah. You, you wish, Chuck. You wish we want to come in here. Yeah, it's just hot, hot local babes coming into the clown tent trying to catch us with our pants down. Turns out that clowns have like more groupies than anyone at the circus, you know? Well, it's like Globy from the Globe Trotters. Like all the chicks wanted to bang him, and it's a dude with a, a mascot with a globe head. It makes no sense. <laughs> they got all the hot babes in the tent with no. We partying. had we had no. We had chicks follow us over three states trying to bang Globy. <laughs> Globy? <laughs> you think I'm kidding? He was like five I foot don't three, think dude. You're kidding? I'm literally not kidding. I'm literally not. That dude's got to be riddled with STDs at this point. I swear. <laughs> Globy would bring home like three chicks a night. I'm not even playing with you. Globy. Yeah, the five foot three dude with the globe head was banging him like crazy. Georgie. What was that sound? Is it blood? Why are, you, why, are you, why are you smelling your hand, dude? Yeah, he, he got like a pink misted. He got like the pink mist on him. Gross. Oh no. The chimpanzees were trying to warn you, you foolish idiots. You didn't listen to the chimps. Or actually, no, the chimps are just horny, like always. My mistake. <laughs> Sorry. Here. No, I can pretend to be a clown with no power. What the hell is going on? These are escaped loony, t loony bin people, and they are going to disguise themselves, wearing all these colorful clown outfits. Makes sense. Seems appropriate. I mean, it was kind of the part where they were like, Oh, you're afraid of the circus? I can't believe you're going. Oh, ah, uh, what are those police doing? I guess they're going to the old loony bin down the street. It's like, okay, I gotta deduce what's gonna happen here. <laughs> the movie's called mm -hmm. Clown House. You got a killer clown on the cover, obviously. Yeah, he's gonna go whiteface. Yes. My cocoa shea butter it makes me smell so good. I love it. Cleans my pores. Keeps my skin lotioned. Oh, the vapors sting my eyes a little, though. It's a little <laughs> strong. <laughs> Ooh, it's like Vicks Vapor Rub. It's just Ben Gay. He's like got the wrong shit. Yeah. It's just straight up Ben Gay on his face. Robin fucking Vix uh, Ultra. Vix Ultra. <laughs> pra at least he's practicing his clown laugh. <laughs> Honestly, he sounded like a better clown than these guys were. He's getting more in character than George ever was. He thinks he's really funny. Yeah, he embrace. He's really funny. Embrace the clownness. What are you doing? I'm trying oh. to figure out if this is a whisker or a zit. You guys want to show you really got some hair? I got a pubic whis whisker. You know, I want to show you really got hair where it counts. What? Huh. Well, since we're all feeling so brave tonight, mm. and Mom won't be home till late, we could have some real scary fun. Right, Ew. Yeah, this is good. Ghost. Oh, jeez. Ghost yeah. stories are my favorite. You wanna? But only when we're wearing clothes. <laughs> For some reason, they, like, the director demands when they tell the ghost stories, they have to be. Yeah, all three of them underwear. butt naked in their underwear. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you fucking face. It's all messed up. Pervert. 
something, something evil. Still, this director is all something weird. Something real? Or not? Nah, or not. So let's go kill someone. What do you think, guys? If you had told me that this kid right here would have grown up to become one of my favorite actors and an Academy Award winner, I'd be like, fuck off. Like, get out of here. Just goes to show you. They were out there. <laughs> Apparently he got IT classes after this movie was made. It's the Lost Boys? Oh no, the clowns. Why they walk so funny? Well, their shoes are too big, that's what it is. I, I like how they walk Why past the running car with its headlights on over there behind that hill. Scare him? To kill him? Alone? The moon is especially blue tonight outside the window. But what would that really bring in? Just more blood. What about first blood? Sylvester Stallone. That was a good one. He knew they would find him. All of them. <laughs> faces like painted nightmares. Ah, it's Casey. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this movie's definitely cursed. <laughs> glad we're, I'm glad we saved this for Friday the 13th. This movie is evil. It's not, the movie itself isn't scary, but when you know the behind the scenes controversy, this movie is terrifying and freaky and weird. Go. I mean, every kid hates clowns, I think, right? What kid likes clowns, you know? That's even, like, a weirder thing, you know? Like, oh, I love the clowns. The clowns are my favorite. Like, no, you name one kid that likes clowns. That's like the know. kid who likes strawberry ice cream, you know, over chocolate and vanilla. That's true. It's like, you're a fucking weirdo. <laughs> Strawberry's my favorite out <laughs> of the fucking Neapolitan. You weirdo. Three clowns for three boys. Ew. Do the dad whistle. I can't whistle. Fun you can't whistle? Fun fact about me, nope. Oh, really? <laughs> I can't do the dad whistle. I don't really know how that works. But I wish I could do I the music whistle. the musical notes the music whistle. I wish I could whistle like a tune, you know? I could sing real well. Yeah. Yeah, well I learned from um, by practicing when I delivered pizza because I saw a guy like whistle classical music outside of a Hollywood video. Yeah. That's why I like using the kazoo. Makes up. I use this. I, I, I'm trying to learn Titanic by the end of the week. I, I just use the kazoo, you know. I got the slide whistle. I'm trying to do Yay! What is that? A dead rat? <laughs> Here's your Titanic for you. Yeah, I'm gonna get there by the end of the week. I'm actually practicing on my side whistle. I'm gonna get there. Is somebody watching us do clown shit? Hey, you're not a clown! <laughs> Hey, you're not a clown. This Only clowns clown. allowed. Yeah, I'm a clown. You're not a clown. Oh, what's that song? Like, send in the clowns. I didn't hear it. Good. Then you no, I don't know that song. No, you're the one who won't get in any trouble. Should Those laffy and right? daffy clowns. That's not a song, dude. Krusty the... Yeah, it's Barbara Streisand. There's also, um... What's his name from the Partridge family? Um, I heard Barbara Streisand's Jewish. What was it? Something. <laughs> Are you joking right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. That was funny. Because <laughs> if you didn't know that, yeah, I had some news for you. <laughs> it's like, dude, I've, I've fucking heard. 
So Liberace I heard, is, actually, is actually gay. Let's I heard right. that Jeff Goldblum's dad from Independence Day, I heard he's Jewish. Popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> uh, ew. You want a back, you want a back rub? No. Get, stop touching me. Stop. Try to touch me. Seriously. <laughs> The director's like, all right, so I want you to touch him. <laughs> Give him a massage. What's going on? Maybe there's more. There's not. The tortillas are gone. Taco night's ruined. Oh, popcorn. Check the pill cabinet. That takes care of that. Like hell. We can't have scary story night without popcorn. Or pills. pills. No one's walking on Dunzo in the middle of the night. You are, Jeffrey. You and Casey. No way. All right, Casey. You go. Forget it. He's kidding. You go. Me? Yeah. Okay. You guys gonna stay here and feel each other up while I'm gone? No. Wow. No. No. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, <laughs> clowns! Little clown cookie jar. You've been watching too many of those creatures. I wonder how many other creepy clowns are hidden throughout the movie and we don't even notice. Every time a creepy pedo line happens in the movie, take a yeah. drink. Yeah, <laughs> no shit. <laughs> I mean, I have been, and I'm drunk, man. So. <laughs> They're brothers, right? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I was never, never this close to my brother. Fuck, <laughs> Jesus. All right, y'all gonna feel each other up while I'm gone, right? Back rubs and fucking hanging out in our yeah. underwear together. We'll be right back. Oh. Why are you going with him, Case? Just gonna get a full tissue massage from him, we'll right you know? Back. Brothers, too. Like, you know, come on, brother style, come on. <laughs> I am a clown. I am a clown, clown. They just totally like didn't see that dude in bright red right in front. You of him. didn't see three grown men hanging out by your swing set right by the fucking front tree. Okay. And this guy's like, "Wee!" That's the kind of thing that'll traumatize you. You know, if you looked out the window and saw a grown man on your swing set, let alone a grown man in a clown outfit on a swing. Yeah, that fucked me up, dude. Oh, that's down on the old Jones Road there. Why would the old pet cemetery be? Don't go down that road. That's where the damn pedophiles be on that road. <laughs> I'd, like, if I saw a clown coming up to my house like that, like, on the street. If you were walking by a barn in the middle of the woods and you encountered a fucking full-blown clown in the middle of the woods, I would, that'd be grounds right there to shoot to kill. You'd yeah, have a that gun. That's on site. That's you on could, site, You bro. could shoot on that's site, and not a single not fucking site. judge or jury would ever convict you of anything, doing anything <laughs> wrong. He didn't have a weapon. He didn't say anything. It didn't matter. He's dressed as a clown. I know. I've seen enough shit. Shoot a clown on site. On <laughs> site, dude. Even if he was like, hey there, kid, I'm lost. Could you help? <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Oh! Like, like fuck you. You. Like, you unload a full fucking clip. <laughs> Even if he's like, oh, I was really just looking for directions. I'm late for a birthday party. <laughs> Why is he like, walking like he's got CP? Yeah. What's going on? <laughs> it's like, hey, later. See you later. Have fun with the clowns. Holy crap. Ah, dude, I'm legit freaked out, dude. I'm legit like run. He doesn't yeah, even does he, he doesn't even realize he's being chased. Look behind you. Do you not hear someone right behind you? You see shadows. You know, jogging in clown shoes has got to be hard. You gotta give it yeah. to him. Imagine how much faster the they'd be. Imagine how much faster yeah, exactly. they'd be in regular shoes. Yeah, shit. They have bigger stride. They would have caught up with them. But look at these fucking shoes. They have to get. It's like knees to the chest, knees to the chest. Run all the way. I left my brother to die. Oh shit, he made it. Never mind. Oh. Get off me, you little shit! What the hell's the matter with you? 
There's so many behind me, chasing me. My ass. Sure, if there Your was. ass is not but chasing me. It was a clown. Like a what is that? Why are we oh, getting a close-up of this man's ass? Is that his knees? That was his butt. You got marshmallow on my jeans, turd. What is that, a moon pie that you sat on? I'll be heading on home then, Ellie. Oh, God. Night, boys. Casey, old man. Slow down, you hear? Time for me to go booze it up. Come on. And coke it up. Do a little toot before bed. Little toot, little snort. Couple drinks. Come on now. Yeah, I'm on now. Eat a TV <laughs> dinner, Hunger Man. XXL. He's a Hunger Man every day after work. A Hunger Man dinner. Eat a Hunger Man XL in the microwave. Chef Mike, <laughs> preparing me up another feast. <laughs> <laughs> While I watch Channel 3 and 4 until I fall asleep yeah, in a there. drunken stupor. I used to eat Hungry Man dinners a long time ago. I mean, I've eaten them before. I mean, I definitely, uh,. You know, it's terrible to live off of, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, probably pretty bad, but me and my dad used I mean, to eat all the time. My dad and I like, like, used to buy them all the time when I was younger. See, for me, I got a soft spot for, like, corn dogs and Hot Pockets, that kind of crap for the frozen food. You know, chicken I nuggets. Do like, I, I, I hate to say it, I do love myself a good Hot Pocket. <laughs> One Hot Pocket's great. Two Hot Pockets feels like you're dying. You're like, ah, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Ugh. <laughs> bad you, eat, you eat one Hot Pocket, you're like, yeah, that's good. I guess I'm still a little hungry, but I'll be fine. You eat two Hot Pockets thinking like, yeah, that'll, that'll round it out. You're like, oh, God. Oh, no. That'll round it out. <laughs> yeah. Eat two Hot Pockets, like kind of fill yourself up for sure. Ah! Oh, Jesus. The only chicken we have. <laughs> that's Bernadette, the chicken. She's, she's rowdy. She runs this barn. She's an angry bitch. Where's my money, Pacock? That's a giant clown shoe. I know a goddamn clown shoe when I see a clown shoe, boy. It's mighty dark in here, but it. Shut up, chicken. I'm trying to hear stuff. What was the chicken's name again? Bernadette. Bernadette, did you see anything? I heard something. <laughs> This is like a perfect name for a chicken in a barn. Yeah, Bernadette. <laughs> Bernadette is the like the 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 security system they have, you know. <laughs> ah! Hey! Nobody wants to get clown handled. <laughs> oh, you better let Bernadette live. Please don't hurt Found Bernadette. It. Hey, how you doing? This guy's way creepier than Pennywise. I'll tell you that much. An L on uh, shape of an L on her forehead, bro. Why are you not screaming in full throated terror? Yeah, why are you punching him in the throat? I like how these serial killers, uh, insanity people, just really like gelled in the clown thing. Yeah, they're you know? really natural at it. Honestly. They're what fucking professional clowns all of a sudden. I think they're perfect for the job. I th I think they're better clowns than the original clowns. Like I think they're hired. The circus guy's gonna be like, look, I hated that you killed everybody, but goddamn, you're the best clown I've ever seen. Could use you in the circus. You're able to snap people's necks, you know. So because like the clowns also double as the security for the circus. You know that, right? Like if you're if you actually start oh. problems at the circus, the clowns are the ones who bounce you. Is that real? Yeah. That's not real, is it? You just made that up. I did just make it up, but that'd be awesome. That'd be fucking awesome, yeah. I was like, dude, that'd be insane. You got a problem here. And like fucking four clowns come out of a little vehicle and they just fucking get you all you have. That'd be traumatizing, to be honest. Just like that. Dude, I'm not joking. This is legit the scariest movie we've watched so far for Schlocktober. It's, this movie's legit freaky. I don't like it. Dude, this has actually scared me on other levels that I didn't, <laughs> Yeah. Know, on levels that I like. It's this uncomfortability factor. This movie's scary on lots of it's levels. Like, the uncomfortability factor on so many different little things. It's Sounds like really tri It's really triggering, you know? Someone <laughs> doing a synth concert outside? What's that noise? One of the clowns when they fucking Yamaha or Casio. Oh, 
Oh. He actually hits the fill beat. <laughs> he hits the drum fill on the, on the Casio on accident. <laughs> No, dude, that xylophone thing, I'm so glad that ended. <laughs> yeah, we just need a stupid kid going, la, 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 la. Oh. Randy! Randy Bo Bandy! You're an embarrassment. <laughs> That kid had a problem earlier in the movie, right? Putty! Why does Randy walk so weird all the time? He walks obviously three times faster when he walks like that because he disappears <laughs> in a fucking second. It's like a fucking, uh, what are these yeah, video won't... games where you learn you like, like, was it Call of Duty or Minecraft? You learn you run faster if you just like jump backwards, you know? Like, yeah, like, yeah, he walks like a freaking cowboy with CP. Uh, you know I mean? It's a clown! Better not be a clown. It's just a dog. It's just a shapeless void in the shape of a shadow. Oh, nope, it's a clown. <laughs> Much worse. Randy, how'd you get chased so quickly? Wow. Why the hell yeah, are you doing walk that? Walk towards him. Yeah, yeah walk, walk backwards and be like, easy there, mister. Close your fucking eyes and hope it's a dream. <laughs> Run. Yeah, no, Jesus, no! That's like that song. Run. Run. <laughs> yeah, I can't even subtitles. The subtitles don't even understand what you're saying, Randy. Calm down. Slow down and speak succinctly. Oh. Casey, you were the weirdest brother I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Randy, please. Randy. Randy. Please. Randy. Why does he have a big H on the back of his jacket? So it stands for Randy. Oh, right. Of course. <laughs> Stupid of me. <laughs> Right now, the ADL would have a serious problem with his uh, jacket, you know. <laughs> they gotta walk like this, though. Holding hands and skipping. Carrying my big paper bag of whatever. I've never fuck. seen any brothers hold hands before. I love yeah. the Halloween decorations. Real fun. Little jerk off, Jeffrey. Put the dummy. <coughs> Jerk off Jeffrey? <laughs> Jerk off that Jeffrey. is Jeffrey. Is that the little brother? No, wait, who died? That old farmer guy. What are you trying to tell me? You think this is Jeffrey? You think he's dead, King? You think the clowns took him up and hung him in the yard? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that's what happened. Is Jeffrey the other brother? And this is going to be Jeffrey's cold, dead body. Waiting to grab me from beyond cool. the grave. Son of a bitch! What the hell do you think you're doing, you little asshole? Is that the little brother dead? I'm really scared. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. how does it feel? You sick little shit. I had to kill you. I had to fucking kill you. I just wanted you to get a little scared. You know, like Casey. You want any of this, you're going to have to kill me for it. So what's in the bag? It's in the bag? You got booze and cigarettes. Oh, okay. Shit. Didn't mean to scare you, Case. Yeah, you got, you got, you got, you got the hookup. He's probably going upstairs right now to change his underwear. <laughs> change in his underwear, more like it knowing this director. Jesus. <laughs> God damn. I didn't know you could get any. Pedophiles! Who are? The clowns. the clowns are actually played by the director and shit. Make sure you stand closer to your brother. Like, put your crotch up to his gro up to his backside. Get closer. 
Like Keep brothers touch do. each other more often. Yeah. yeah, you know, like brothers do. Like it's the fucking director behind the camera, like yelling at the fucking kids. It's so awful. No, Mr. It's so Salva. Awful. It's so awful. He's <laughs> in jail, by the way, he did, right? Motherfucker, he's still in jail. All right, good. Better be. Yeah, I know, right? Can't set that fucking monster loose. All the pedos get the rope. That's just my controversial opinion. Sorry. I don't oh, apologize yeah. for it. <laughs> yep, all pedos get the rope. And this butter popcorn is all mine, you see? He just pours the coke all over the popcorn like a bowl of cereal. <laughs> he fucking starts <laughs> eating it with a spoon. This is be awesome. I'm stoned as fuck, bro. I got the munchies. It's loaded. Would you shut up, please? Popcorn's a great movie snack because it's crunchy, but it doesn't make too much noise for a crunchy thing, you know? <laughs> My friend Will used to, in the middle of a movie at the movie theater, as soon as it get really, really quiet, he'd pull out a handful of, like, the crunchiest snacks in the world. Yeah. Like, and, like, chomp on it really hard. Like, pork <laughs> rinds. <laughs> pork rinds. Yeah, no, That's, like, he would sneak in, would like, crunchy snacks. Yeah. He would sneak in crunchy snacks just to wait for, like, the silent, quiet part that's dramatic. Well, my favorite is, like, is sneaking in fast food, and you have to be real quick to, like, open that bag and pull out that burger and unwrap that burger. Yeah. I'm one of those guys where I would do it really loud, but do it in, like, three seconds. Huh? Because, like, if you try to be quiet, it takes, like, 20, 30 seconds, and you're still making, like, roughly the same amount of sound. So you might as well just, like, pull the bag and open it real loud and fucking rip that burger out and unwrap it completely, and now you're good. Now you can eat the burger in silence. <laughs> like. What's the matter, Jeffrey? got a life hack. If you sneak your burger in a Crown Royal bag, you never know. I'll ever know. Yeah, sneak it in a Ziploc. There you go. Open the Ziploc. There you go. Pull your burger out. Eat it. Is that Crown Royal bag like this? Jesus it's all Christ, it's all got like lint on it and stuff. Yes. <laughs> Purple lint in your fucking burger. <laughs> all up on the mayonnaise and shit. If I saw the dude next to me at a theater open a Crown Royal bag and pull a cheeseburger out, I'd be like, we need to talk. No, bro. better yet, he pulls the bur the Crown Royal <laughs> bottle out first, and then under it is a cheeseburger all flattened and hidden, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. He'd see you see that. You would just be like, I ain't saying anything. You just put your hand up like, nope, nope. Your secret's safe with me, sir. But me. let me have a swill of that crown, though. Yeah. <laughs> this movie sucks. Yeah, I think, fuck you. I think the next movie I want to see in the theaters is The, crea uh, the Creator. It comes out this weekend, maybe. I'll go. But you got to say, I'm braver than you. Say it. Say Jeffrey's braver than Randy. <laughs> yeah, this this music is really instilling the terror. Guys. Chicken shit little whim. I mean, that's like a terrifying sight to see three grown men creeping down a normal hallway like that. What the fuck? They're like, how do they do that? They're ninjas too? Ninja, yeah, clowns. ninja clowns. Holy shit, there's your movie. It'd be really funny if like they're trying to sneak around but their shoes squeak. Like they're like, do the, the, the Dude, little... Dude, clown jitsu. Clown <laughs> jitsu. It'd be so much funnier, right, though, if you, like, dubbed in, like, would they run, like, the squeaky clown oh, yeah. shoe noise? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That'd be so funny if you dubbed that in. <laughs> That's super terrifying because, like, um, you would, he it's always scary yeah, when, like, the, it's like the T-Rex, you know, like, he's announcing it's coming, you know, you can hear it coming, yeah. you're like, oh, no. Yeah, that would actually have been pretty funny if they had that. Yeah. Honk, honk. I hope he, like, <laughs> at least squeezes his nose at one point. Honk, honk. Let's see here. Hang on. All right. There we go. <laughs> you know, around, take... Oh, man. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> all right, all right. No more sound effects. I hate sound effects. You're lucky, Jeff, old bro. I think you might be my best brother, too. <sighs> Make sure you guys get as close as possible. You taught me everything I know. Now is the short star going to go fix the fuse, or are we going to stand around in the dark all night? Huh? You see me going? No. Being a little no. Wet, jockey slow you down a little? You got a need, you little buddy. You better shut your goddamn mouth or I'm going to bash you to shit. He likes to say bashing. You're gonna get a bashing. I'm afraid about the bashing I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna bash your shit. At least he didn't say I'm gonna smash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, jeez. I'm legit like. You know, not sure if these kids are going to survive in this movie. I'm legit, like, worried about the safety of them. I'm legit. One's going to die. One's got to die. At least I have no idea. I mean, if any of them die, it's fucked up. But if these clowns don't get at least one of these kids, then they fucking suck at their job, dude. Yeah, they, I don't want to see three ninjas. I want to see an actual, like, killer, killer, serial killer movie, you know? Dude, don't be lighting, uh... Those flammable fake cobwebs, they're they're very they're very toxic. It's not it's polyester or something. Yeah. It'll go up Third the degree second. burns. Yeah, it'll stick to you like napalm. Mm-hmm. Stick to you and melt. Ah! It'll burn worse than you've ever been burned and leave a scar. Just like in Fight Club. Clown Ooh, makeup. One of the clown bit, biffed it onto the fucking Thing right there. It's like a fucking face print. <laughs> like a clown that they eat shit. <laughs> Deleted scene. Not the fuse is blown. <laughs> there you go. A, like, ah! Movie, yeah. That was that legit was cool. creepy. That was cool as fuck. Though, I don't like this shit. <laughs> this is fucking jacked. I'm fucking legit scared. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> that's not makeup. That's... Oh, shit. I mean, if the power's out, then why has this blue light been on this whole time? You know, they got this blue light running 24-7. Oh, that's the moon. I get it. A gog. Don't you see how awful that thing is? A Kimbo. To just help him. To walk. To walk. To walk. How could he not see it, the other star? How could something so evil and so oh. awful be so near? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. So hey, at least he's got this cool murdering gloves on already. The, the, the three clowns never communicate with each other. They just kind of look at each other and shit. Is that... Yeah. Yeah, they're like psychically linked. It looks like fucking Danny Elfman from Oingo Boingo. <laughs> it's a dead man's party. Going Where did on? he get the makeup? Where did he get the makeup? Oh, so this is a Night of the Living Dead reference, obviously. Dude, I don't like how this guy's doing clown face. It's very offensive to us actual clowns. Coming, <laughs> clown face. He's like making a mockery of being a clown. I don't condone this at all. Obviously, being a clown is very serious business. Okay, look, if nobody gets killed, if the clowns just kind of sit around and make freaky faces in the background, then it's starting to lose its appeal. Can one of the kids get strangled? Can the kids at least know there's danger? Right? They, they're still, like, oblivious to the fact there's, like, three grown men running in and out and around their house. Are we going to get the fun clown mirror show? From the cartoons? Is that what we're gonna see? God damn it. That was a missed opportunity. Ah, oh, 
Okay, yeah, that fucked up. Okay, yeah. You just slice your damn arm open. Oh no, not the older brother. Finally, right? Well, yeah, fucking finally, yeah. That kid was a dick. Dude, was dude dead. right at the hour mark. <laughs> Right at the hour mark, you got the first kill. Spot on. Maybe he's just wounded, too. You never know. You can have her cake and eat it, too, you know? Maybe he's just horribly wounded and he'll save the day with his big bloody arm and face later. Stay here and don't I'd buy that. For anyone, unless you're sure it's me. Okay. No way. Make sure it's not a serial killer doing my impression. You know he's just gonna try to scare us. I'm going with you. All right, but you stay close. Really close. Like, constantly rubbing my back Ready. close. <laughs> Take your pants off close. Ready, God damn it. Messed up. Wear your tiny whiteies close. This is the director <laughs> talking, all right? <laughs> don't look up the IMDb trivia. I beg you. If you, you haven't you already, don't. don't. It'll make this movie so much scarier. It will. Show. It's why we're on the edge of our seat. I'm literally worried these clowns Ready? are going to bend these kids over and fuck them. All right? Oh, my God. Seriously. No, after this beat, after the freaking IMDb stuff, honestly, you guys, this movie's way scarier than y'all realize it's if you're watching this. so never, fucking Ready? freaky. This is terrifying. I'm, this is the first scary movie we watched from. And you know what's great like, is like I, I'd like to believe that these clown actors are actually not chomos. They're just like legit actors, but they were like, yeah, something about the director. He was obsessed that we were like creepier and make this face and wear this exact outfit. Up. Something. Look, look, look! They're, 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 they're yeah. now know finally that they're in the house. Finally. Yeah, it's like. Who do you want to be today? Run. Who do you want to be? It's like Oingo Boingo. It's exactly what he looks like. Richard, John, uh, Danny Elfman. It's a dead man's party. Who could ask for more? What is this labyrinthine house they have? <laughs> it's like shaped like a goddamn The Shining apartment. The Shining Hotel. The Overlook. It's like a fucking maze. Hey, uh, I forgot my wacky squirting flower up here. Can I get that? Sorry. <laughs> The spider so the other is up here. Dead. So the other kid's dead. I I, like I said, he might be horribly wounded. But yeah, he's definitely incapacitated for now. If not dead. Damn, that was a good sting. That music. It's like a cat with a guitar. Oh, God. Tom Petty is a clown. Monk. <laughs> He's like being a mime. He's like not speaking at all. Like I said, they're so committed to the clown thing. Like they just happened to happen to come upon a uh, come upon three clowns, so they killed them and took their disguises. But you didn't think they would like fucking nail the part so well. Like, what if the first three people they killed were like three nuns? Would they have, like, you know, start walking around as nuns doing all the prayers and pretending to be three old ladies? Yeah. Like, who else could be ridiculous that they encountered? Three three lawnmower guys. And they just kill them and take their disguises and just start mowing people's lawns, you know? They speaking up, Spanish. Like, you know, they start speaking in Spanish. <laughs> they don't even know Spanish before they did it. Yeah, yeah. Leaf blowers and... Those little chainsaws on the on the poles where they trim the trees with. Yeah, they're trying cool. to kill you from a distance Dude. with that chainsaw. Like, they're trying to kill you from like, like. 15, have you seen 20 those little chainsaws? Yeah. yeah, my dad and I used to have one. Yeah, those things are great. I want one. But like, yeah, that would be fucked up if some if a killer had one of those. It's yeah, like, hey, I've got a chainsaw like Leatherface, but it's on a staff, and I can just swing it at you. Horrifying. 
Casey! Thank you. Damn! He just fractured his skull. His, his, he's getting brain bleed. If that was a cast iron pan, he's fucked up. Dude, like, you, fr you, like, he's like, he's having, like, personality changes because of his brain injury he just sustained. Now he gets hit in the head and he's like, oh, sorry about this, guys. I'm uh, actually very nice now. I don't want to kill anymore. <laughs> You've made me a better man. Lobotomies work to a degree, you know. Definitely make you pretty docile. That was Mob's prize China. You're going to be in trouble. I'm going to tell. Just just another face plant. Yeah, it's like more like white grease paint on that step now. It's just like fucking caked everywhere. <laughs> this music. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That's what you get for killing our brother, dick. I like how he just totally loosened up on his way out. He didn't tense up or nothing. He just, just totally... Ex like, he just embraced it. Yeah, he just totally like, free fell. He like yeah. nosedived right into the fucking concrete. Woo! <laughs> He's crazy. What do you want? They don't even know. There could be five or six more clowns. They don't have no idea. Yeah, right? That's going to be the worst. You struggle and struggle to kill these three, and then ten more start piling in. You're like, well, I guess, like, clowns have invaded us from uh, Russia or something. I don't know what's happening, but, oh, well, I guess we're dead. Come on. I wouldn't think to call 911 or anything at this point. At all well, the like, phones are down. Phone. The circuits are, are down. down, so it's a bullshit, obviously. There's always a bullshit reason. Mom and dad are out of town. There's no guns in the house. This is one of those things where you just have a gun in the house. You teach all the kids to know how to learn to use the guns. But the Wi-Fi, they don't have the Wi-Fi. This movie would be done in five seconds if these kids all had trigger discipline and knew how to use the firearm. They'd be like, they'd see the clown in the hallway and be like, oh, one second. And they'd go right back to mom's room, fucking open a drawer, and come out with like a revolver. Be right watch there, clown. watch those second. clowns scatter like little fucking rats. Ah! Didn't realize these kids were packing. Nope. That's our brother. He's dead. Is he dead or is he wounded? I didn't think they'd actually kill him. I'm not going to lie. This movie is rated R. But that was something that we only saw in the 80s was like child death. Dude. Casey, is that not the brother? What the hell's the matter with you? Huh? Are you crazy? You can't go the brother's back alive. House. We're going to get help. Okay? I literally like hope the brother's alive. Like I'm like invested in this movie. God damn it. Well like did that did they take the brother's clothes off and put it on the uh, I don't think I don't know if that was supposed to look like a fake dummy and it, it is a dummy or if it's like a really bad effect, but like the the other brother didn't react to it, so I think that's actually a dummy. Yeah, well, he's wearing the clothes the other kid was wearing, so that means the right. clown took the clothes right. off of the other kid. So the just, brother's just naked oh. and wounded and probably uh, molested. Uh, yeah, something <laughs> awful. <laughs> he something got, really he got, this movie he got, is honestly terrifying. He got Victor Salvad. <laughs> this is scarier than Event Horizon, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, like, seriously, this is like that. Pizzagate, the movie. Yep. Again, it's like, if the kids just had the guns, you know? that's If I had kids, I'd be like, hey, son, here's the gun. Here's so how you use it. Why walking around still without weapons? Like, I would show yeah. kids this movie. I would show my five-year-old son this movie and be like, this is why you need to know how to use the gun. Because if crazy motherfuckers show up in this house and you're not here... You act like you're all defenseless. And you grab that fucking nine millimeter. Is that the brother? And... That's the brother. Yeah, he's alive though. Are you sure? We've got to get help. Put him in the den. Put him in the den. Yeah, he'll be safe. He's alive. He's bleeding. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, dude. It'd be too controversial to have any of these brothers die, but it's funny because like. 
Like, this scene right here is controversial in regards to the making of the movie, you know? Yeah. But, like... I don't even know what to think about this whole thing so far, man. If you want to watch something stupider and shorter after this, I'm totally down. We can, yeah, watch, we can watch a Bill of the Ghosty movie. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Those movies uh, are all 60, 70 minutes long. Those movies are terrifying me. I'm scared. I, I, I gotta say, like... I gotta say, I'm yeah. I gotta say, like, we're halfway through Schlocktober. Ah! Yeah. We're halfway through Schlocktober, and this movie is legitimately freaky. I mean, to be fair, this is also the... Besides Night of the Demons, this is, like, the most recent movie we're watching. Um, in terms of the Schlocktober stuff. Not counting, you know, Dracula 2000 and Bad Boon. I'm gonna edit Dracula 2000, um... Later. Is this movie like freaking uh, canceled or whatever? Because yes. It should be. Like I said, this movie was not released because of what happened. Like I thought that uh, the, I thought this movie he, had controversy like years later. No, this he movie. He knocked himself out on that thing that they talked about earlier. Oh, it was clowns. He's clowning. <laughs> well, he's just clowning. That's true. He's doing a big uh, elaborate. Heard the hoax. phone work the whole time. Yeah, I want to make a call. I don't know. Maybe yes, I would. <laughs> I'd like to call uh, the emergency services, please. I've got a crazy clown in the house. So the phone, the phone lines did work because actually the phone was yeah, actually back know. then. No, the phone back then was powered by I, the actual phone line itself. But when I, the, when the I don't electricity know. went out, we could still call, make phone calls when, on a landline. God damn it! Before everything was digital like that. Why is he hanging up? Yeah, thank you. Something happened yeah, where the joining? phone lines were turned off and now they're on and he's just realizing they're Officer on. Friendly? Officer, Officer friendly. friendly? That's another pedo thing. <laughs> oh, Roger, drink. Lieutenant Corman. Roger Corman. See, that's a fun little nod. That's a nod that it doesn't revolve around sick fucking... I don't know what you're talking about, Roger Corman. What are you Roger talking about? Corman is a famous B monster movie movie producer. I know, but this is what I'm talking about. Officer, we're not talking about that. We're talking about Officer Friendly. Right. But see, Officer Friendly in the subtitles was like, Roger, I hear you. We'll talk to uh, Lieutenant Corman. Roger Corman. There you go. Oh, I see. Yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> are you sure you're not having a nightmare? There's a fucking dead clown right next to me, you son of a bitch. I'm. He is sounding a little calm, but then again, this is what... Honestly, this is what an actual child trauma victim does sound like probably on the phone. He's going to turn around and the clown's going to be gone. Watch this. Yeah. You'd probably think that the kid on the phone would be like, please come get help. But you, it's probably more realistic that the kid would be like, hello, there's a man in my house. You need to That's come. The dude has, please he has come. to pick up the phone. Why isn't he picking up the phone again to immediately be like, no, dude, the fucking dude's real. Get fucking over here now. Like, I mean, you're realistically, that's why the cops are cool. Because it's like, it's a good and a bad thing. But yeah, the cop, if your kid calls the cops and says, I don't know why I'm calling. Goodbye. The cops are going to come to your house anyway. They're going to be like, hey, some child picked up the phone, called 911. Like, oh, yeah. I guess that was a stupid kid playing on the phone. But, you know, they come in case <laughs> it's something like a killer clown in the house. Just you would call 911 and be like, hi, I've got a William Gacy. I've got a Gacy situation going on times three at my house. I'm sorry, you said a Gacy situation? Yes, I've got three killer clowns. Gacy's. Yeah. Three Gacy's in here. Uh, this, this house is crawling with Gacy's. I don't know. Uh, no, I, I know. You're like, I need the ambulance and police officers because my brother might be dead. I'm yeah. like, why yeah. did you get, like, report that? Like, that's the first thing. Yeah. My brother oh, might yeah. be dead. And I think the person who killed him is still here. You don't say anything about clowns or anything. <clears throat> you just be like, hey, yo, 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 people here. This house is infested with gacies. Help. We've got too many gacies in the house. You've got a real gacy problem. The guy's going to walk through the door. And he's, you're going to be the first thing he sees. This if you can I see agree. his eyes, then his eyes can see you. Turn your back. I, uh, him turning his back is like Tell the you what, move. I would believe it if this curtain, even if it was transparent, if it was longer, and we could see like the shape through 
Okay, whatever. We can just assume now he's he eight feet it. tall. He's eight feet tall, and he, maybe he's pretending. He's humoring the kid because he's a clown. He's really buying into the clown thing. <gasps> Dude, I gotta say, if you weren't afraid of clowns, this movie will make you afraid of clowns. Fuck Why clowns. Closing his eyes. Don't you need to be aware of what the fuck is going on? Dude, I hate this kid so much. I hate well, this child. He's the youngest, and he's the most I don't terrified. Like him. He's already I don't terrified like him. of clowns. They've already established that he's afraid of clowns, you know? You know what? I hope this clown kills this kid right now. They've honestly. already established he's afraid of clowns, which is so fun because this movie is about facing your fears. He's hopefully going to kill one of these clowns with his bare hands or a gun or something. Oh, yeah, he, like, chokes out a clown. He, like, he won't have the game. strength to, like, overpower one of these guys, but if he, he's, like, stabs them or something... Of course, a fucking toy clown is gonna fuck you. <laughs> okay, dude. That's a tall motherfucker, too. Holy crap. Is this Tyler Maine in another movie we're watching? <laughs> Could you imagine getting killed to a little clown toy laughing at you? That's the sound that'll torment you in hell for eternity. That's why, like, when you die in front of someone or if, like, someone's dying in front of you, it's not, like... What the fuck? Thank you, brother. Thank you for oh, using the goddamn it. axe. Yeah, yeah, I had one this whole time. If you show an axe, you gotta use it. If you show the, movie, no, the gun in the movie, you gotta no, use no. it. It'd be so much better if he, like, wasn't dead, but he was just like, ah, my Ow! Ah! Ah! It's like squirming, like... like, trying to pull the axe out, and he can't reach it, you know? Yeah. It's, like, right in the spot where he's, like, he's, like, get it out! Get it out! I can't grab it! Ah! Ah! <laughs> That'd be way better, yeah, seeing him struggle. So much better, yeah. Seeing him suffer. And he, like, he, like, and he breaks the silence, and he's like, ah, shit! This fucking stuff! Ah, fuck! <laughs> Yeah. Then he flips over, and then the uh, the axe like bends and like cracks his spine open, and his, now his legs and arms don't move at all. And he's like, "Oh, yeah. oh God, what was that? He's like what was that?" Around the house, still trying to chase the kids. What like, happened to the other two stuff? clowns? Are they? Oh, one of them flew out the window. What happened to the third one? Uh, he fell on the stairs. Right. Remember? No man can hide from his fears, as they are part of him. They will always know where he is hiding. More pedo shit. God damn it, what is that? Trying to, like, trying to wrap up your little fucking stupid killer clown movie with some kind of sentimental message? That's fucked. So, yeah, That's Casey. Fucked. Casey, the youngest boy in the movie, he was, the director was arrested for molesting gotta, this kid. I gotta, go, I gotta go make a drink. And I'll then later, that. 10, 20 years yeah. later, he was arrested yeah. again because he had pictures of the other, the middle kid. Yeah, no, I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's make a stiff drink and watch another stupid movie. But Jesus Christ, y'all y'all be damned. All he who watched this film be cursed on this Friday the 13th, 2023. Schlocktober. And you know what? Uh, we looked it up, but the next uh, Friday the 13th in October is going to be in uh, 2028. And I think there will be several other Friday the 13ths to come next year one in january i think one in De december i don't know but i want to start watching the friday the 13th movies those would be fun what are my favorite friday the 13th movies i like part seven with the psychic girl i like part eight where he takes on jason uh jason takes on manhattan i think my favorite friday the 13th though is part six because that's the one where jason becomes the immortal zombie you know he's like literally back from the dead so fun stuff anyway i'm done uh talking bullshit let's uh let's just uh wrap it up